From this presentation onwards, we will understand expressions in Python in details. This is part one of expressions in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is expressions in Python. The second topic is constant expressions. The third topic is arithmetic expressions. The fourth topic is integral expressions. And the last topic is floating point expressions. So, let's get started with the first topic that is expressions in Python. What is an expression in Python? An expression in Python is simply a combination of operators and operands. There can be more than one operators in an expression and there can be more than one operands. Other than this, one thing we need to remember is that an expression always evaluates down to a value. For example, let's open our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we are ready to type in the commands here. Let's type x equal to 10 and let's hit enter. x is now pointing to value 10. Now, let's type x plus 3 x plus 3 is an expression because it is a combination of operators and operands. In this example, we have two operands x and 3 and we have an operator plus. So, there is one operator and two operands. There is one more reason why x plus 3 is an expression because x plus 3 will evaluate down to a value. So, if we hit enter, we will get some value from this x is the name pointing to value 10. So, x will be replaced by 10 at runtime. 10 plus 3 gives us 13. Therefore, after hitting enter, we will get 13 as a result. As we are getting a result here, this means that x plus 3 is an expression. I hope the idea of an expression is completely clear. Let's move on to the next topic, that is constant expressions. So, what is a constant expression? A constant expression has only constants as operands. So, it is an expression which has only constants as operands. It does not matter what operator or operators we have. The operands must be constants. For example, let's open our command prompt and type 10 plus 30. This is an expression because this will evaluate down to some value. We can see this, that this expression is a constant expression because the operands are constants. We have two operands, 10 and 30. These two operands are constants. They are not variables, they are constants. So, it is clear that this is a constant expression. Now, if we hit enter, we will get 40 as a result. I hope constant expression is also clear. Let's move on to the next topic, that is arithmetic expressions. So, what is an arithmetic expression? An arithmetic expression contains numeric values or strings as operands. It must have at least one arithmetic operator or it can have more than one arithmetic operators and sometimes parentheses. So, now let's consider one example of an arithmetic expression. For this, we again need to open our command prompt and type x equal to Nesso. Let's now hit enter and type x into 3. x into 3 is an arithmetic expression because star, which is a multiplication operator, is an arithmetic operator. So, this condition is satisfied. The second condition is that the operands can be numeric values or strings. x is pointing to the string Nesso and 3 is a numeric value. Hence, the conclusion is that x into 3 is an arithmetic expression. An arithmetic expression can have parentheses also, but parentheses are mostly needed when we have more than one operators in an expression and when we need to decide which operation should be performed first. Here in this case, we just have one operator, which is a multiplication operator. There is no need to apply parentheses here x into 3 will evaluate down to some value. Hence, we can say that x into 3 is an expression and it is an arithmetic expression. If we multiply Nesso 3 times, 
we will get Nesso 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 as a result. So after hitting enter, we will get Nesso 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 as a result. I hope the idea is clear. We are done with arithmetic expressions as well. Let's move on to the next topic, which is called integral expressions. So, what is an integral expression? An integral expression results an integer value after performing the necessary type conversions. So, an integral expression always results in an integer value, no matter what. And if there is any need of type conversions, we need to perform type conversions on the data. Eventually, we must get an integer value if we want to say that the expression is an integral expression. Let's open our command prompt and let's type x equal to 5. Now, let's hit enter and type y equal to 7.5. Now, let's hit enter and type res equal to x plus int y. Here we are converting the type of y. y is pointing to this value 7.5 which is a floating point value. And we know that if we directly add x and y, we will get a floating point result. Hence, we cannot say that x plus y is an integral expression because x plus y will result a floating point value. We will get 12.5 as a result. But we want an integer value. For this, we need to convert the type of y to an integer. y is pointing to 7.5 we need to convert the type of 7.5. For this, we need to pass y to int function. Int function is a function which allows us to convert one type of data to an integer data. Here we have a floating point value and we are passing floating point value to int. Eventually, we will get integer value. In this case, we will get 7 as a result. So, 7.5 will be converted to 7 by this int function. So, int y will eventually get replaced by 7. And what about x? x is already an integer. It is 5. Therefore, x will be replaced by 5. So, eventually we will get 5 plus 7, which is an expression because it will evaluate down to some value. 5 plus 7 will give us 12, which is an integer value. Hence, we can say, that x plus int y is an integral expression. So, this is what I have written. An integral expression results an in integer value after performing the necessary type conversions. If there is a necessity of converting the type of any data, we must convert it first and then we perform the operations. Here in this case, we want to perform addition operation on x and y. But first, we are converting the type of y to integer because y is a floating point value and we want to get an integer value. Hence, we need to convert 7.5 to an integer. So, let's continue and hit enter. Now, let's type res and again hit enter. We will get 12 as a result. We are getting an integer value. So, we can say x plus int y is an integral expression. Let's consider one more example. Let's type x equal to 5 and let's hit enter. Now let's type y equal to 5, but this time we need to put 5 within single quotes. So now this is a string, this is not an integer. Let's hit enter again and type res equal to x plus into y. Here also type conversion is needed because this value is not a numeric value, it is a string. Eventually, this string will be converted to an integer 5. So, int y will give us 5. And x is already 5. 5 plus 5 gives us 10, which is again an integer value. Hence, we can say x plus int y is an integral expression. Now, let's hit enter and type res and again hit enter. We will get 10 as a result. I hope the idea of integral expressions is completely clear. Let's move on to the next topic, which is called floating point expressions. So, what is a floating point expression? A floating point expression results a floating point value after performing the necessary type conversions. So, the difference between an integral expression and a floating point expression is that 
an integral expression results an integer value while on the other hand a floating point expression results a floating point value of course after performing the necessary type conversions for example let's open our command prompt and let's type x equal to 10 now let's hit enter and type y equal to 15.0 so y is pointing to 15.0 and x is pointing to 10 10 is an integer value and 15.0 is a floating point value let's hit enter and type res equal to float x plus y here we are converting the type of x we are providing x to float function eventually we will get 10.0 because x is 10 and here we will get 15.0 because y is pointing to 15.0 10.0 plus 15.0 gives us 25.0 which is a floating point value hence we can say float x plus y is a floating point expression so now if we hit enter and type res and again if we hit enter we will get 25.0 as a result there is one important point we need to understand here there is no need to convert the type of x we can directly type x plus y because eventually 10 plus 15.0 will give us 25.0 because python performs implicit type conversion for x so eventually python will convert the type of x which is 10 to 10.0 because the second operand is a floating point value hence eventually we will get 25.0 but here we are explicitly converting the type of x to float which is a good practice because we must not always depend on python to convert the type of some data value so it is a good practice to convert the type of data explicitly if we want to do so I hope the concept is clear. Now let's consider one more example. Let's type x equal to 10 and let's hit enter and then type y equal to 5 and let's hit enter again and this time we will type res equal to x divided by y. This is a division operator and we are well familiar with this that division operator always results a floating point value. Here in this case, we have x equal to 10 and y equal to 5. Eventually, x will be replaced by 10 and y will be replaced by 5. So here we are dividing 10 by 5. 10 divided by 5 will give us 2.0, not 2. Although we are expecting an integer value, but we will get a floating point value. Hence, we can say that x divided by y is a floating point expression. Now if we hit enter and type res and again if we hit enter we will get 2.0 as a result not 2 okay so x divided by y is a floating point expression as it is resulting a floating point value so now we have understood all the topics we have understood what is an expression we have understood constant expressions arithmetic expressions integral expressions floating point expressions and this means we are done with all the topics of this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.